Hello, love. Today, I want to talk about resizing your images for Etsy. There tends to be a lot of confusion surrounding this topic because most people don't realize that resizing your images to meet Etsy's image recommendations is a three-step process. You may have heard the terms aspect ratio, image size, or even file size mentioned before, but you may not understand what each is or how they correlate. And you may even be wondering why making these changes are important. By following Etsy's recommendations, it allows you to keep full control over how your images are displayed in Etsy search, within your shop page, and within your listings. When you don't use Etsy's recommendations, Etsy will do their own cropping and compression of your images. This can decrease your image quality or create odd cropping that crops out part of your product. This matters because you want your images to be displayed the way you intended and in a way that makes your product look its best. In this video, I'm going to clarify the three steps it takes to resize your images, why each step matters, and show you how to resize your images for Etsy using Snapseed. Step one is adjusting your aspect ratio, which refers to cropping your image. The aspect ratio is the ratio of the width to the height of an image. Etsy's best practices says to use an aspect ratio of 4 3 for the listing thumbnail, but there's often conflicting information within the Etsy Help Center and the Etsy Seller Manual. So I did my own testing and as of March 2020, the listing thumbnail on desktop and mobile in Etsy search and on your main shop page is still showing as a 5 4 aspect ratio. Based on this information, I will continue to recommend a 5 4 aspect ratio as Etsy has in the past. However, my suggestion to you is to always leave negative space in your images like this. In case Etsy decides to switch that thumbnail to a square or a 4-3 aspect ratio. If you crop too close to the product like this and Etsy decides to change to a square thumbnail or a 4-3 thumbnail, your product could get cut out. So we're going to talk about Etsy's recommendation of a 5-4 aspect ratio for this training. This recommendation is based on the thumbnail image used in Etsy search and on your main stock page. Most smartphones will produce images with an aspect ratio of 4-3. When you go to upload your images to a listing, you can upload any aspect ratio and within your listing it will appear in that ratio and look normal. This listing photo has an aspect ratio of 4-3 landscape. And this listing photo is an aspect ratio of 5-4 landscape. This one is 4-3 portrait. And this one is 5-4 portrait. And this one is a square. They will also appear within the listing as you upload them on mobile as well. So 4-3 landscape, 5-4 landscape, 4-3 portrait, 5-4 portrait and square. So if our images appear in the aspect ratio we upload them, then why does the aspect ratio of 5-4 matter? The recommendation of 5-4 landscape aspect ratio matters because that is how your image will appear in the search on your desktop and in mobile and on your main Etsy shop page on desktop and on mobile. So what happens when you don't crop your images to an aspect ratio of 5-4 landscape? Well, nothing unless it's the first listing thumbnail image. In this case, Etsy will crop the image for you from the middle of the image out to a 5-4 landscape aspect ratio, cutting off some of your image. If it is a 4-3 landscape, you don't lose much of the image as you see here. But a 4-3 portrait or a 5-4 portrait will lose a significant amount of the image when Etsy goes to crop that thumbnail image. Even a square loses part of the top and bottom when cropped to a 5-4. Now you may be thinking if my first thumbnail image is the only image affected by this, then why should I change all of my images to a 5-4 landscape aspect ratio? First, if you want to test thumbnail images to see what your audience responds to, then you may eventually be using a different image than you initially intended on. And second, uploading the same aspect ratio for all listing photos will create a more cohesive browsing experience for your audience. 
You can easily crop your images to a 5-4 landscape aspect ratio in Snapseed by going to the tools and then selecting crop and scrolling over to 5-4 and then adjusting the crop to your liking. Once you have it the way you like it, you hit the check mark and you're all set. Step two is adjusting the image size. Image size is the pixel dimensions and refers to the number of pixels in an image and is identified by the width and height of an image, so the aspect ratio, as well as the total number of pixels in an image. So what does this mean? The more pixels you cram into an inch of space, the sharper the image will be. As our displays become more advanced with a higher PPI rating, that is a pixel per inch rating, Etsy continues to raise the pixel dimension recommendation of images to keep up with higher resolution displays. This ensures that when the zoom feature is used, your images stay sharp and aren't pixelated. When I opened my Etsy shop back in 2015, the minimum recommendation was 1,000 pixels. Now the minimum recommendation is 2,000 pixels, and Etsy will let you know when you aren't meeting the minimum. The iPhone produces an image with 4,032 by 3,024 pixels. Part of the reason we reduce the pixel dimensions is because the more pixels we have, the larger the file size. I will get into that in just a minute, but first I want to show you how to adjust your image size in Snapseed. In the Snapseed app, you're going to click the three dots in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to select settings. And from there, you will select image sizing and then set it to 2000 pixels. Now for the selected settings to be applied to the saved image, you need to click export and then select export. When you crop your image to the proper aspect ratio, you will set the image size to 2000 and based on the aspect ratio, it'll fill in the height, creating an image with 2000 by 1600 pixels at a 5-4 aspect ratio. Step three is file size. Now the file size is in bytes and refers to the amount of data stored. So when you have a higher image size, you have a larger file size. The more pixels, the more data. Larger file sizes take up large amounts of storage and they make your .com site pages load slower and they affect your Google SEO. The plus side, when you adjust your aspect ratio and your image size for each platform, you're losing pixels causing a loss of data and a smaller file size. However, most of the time this isn't enough and we have to do a quality percentage to reduce the file size to meet Etsy's recommendations. Etsy recommends your file size be less than one megabyte. My professional recommendation is to try to keep your file size around 600 kilobytes for fast loading times, especially if you have your own .com and intend to use the same images on your site. Let's take a look at how you adjust file size in Snapseed. In the Snapseed app, you will click on the three dots in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to select settings. From there, you will select format and quality, and you'll notice that you have multiple options. When tested on an image from my iPhone, JPEG 100% had a file size of 2.6 megabytes. That is huge. JPEG 95% had a file size of 814 kilobytes, which meets Etsy's recommendation. But JPEG 80% gave me a file size of 584 kilobytes, which is the option I recommend to make sure you're optimizing your images for Google SEO if you have your own .com or plan to in the future. Now for the selected settings to be applied to the saved image, you need to click export and then select export. I know I went over a lot of information today, so let's do a quick recap. To meet Etsy's image recommendations, you wanna crop your images to a 5-4 landscape aspect ratio. This will ensure that they look great in search. You also want to reduce your image size to 2,000 pixels, and I suggest keeping your file size under 600 kilobytes. So if I went into Snapseed and just cropped my image and set it to an aspect ratio of 5-4 landscape, my image size, the pixel dimensions, would be 2,914 
by 2,332 pixels. And this number is based on how much of the image I cropped out. And my file size is still pretty large at 5.4 megabytes. Now if I crop the image to 5.4 and set the image sizing to 2,000 pixels, I still get an image with 2.6 megabytes. That's still a lot of data. But if I crop to 5.4 and then set my image sizing to 2,000 pixels and set my format and quality to JPEG 80%, then my image is under 600 kilobytes and meets all of Etsy's and Google's recommendations. Hopefully this helped you connect all the dots, but if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you want easy access to Etsy's image size recommendations, then click the link in the description below to download my quick guide on sizing your images for Etsy in 2020. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos.